Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. Before I begin this video, I just want to let you know that in case you uh, haven't saw that, uh, in March, uh, this March, uh, we are going to learn for the flow your native language. And since I am Bulgarian, uh, you can actually see, uh, thanks to Flutter Flow, actually, uh, and we you can actually uh, learn Flutter Flow in Bulgarian. So, in any case, if you want to learn Flutter Flow in Bulgarians, uh, sorry, in Bulgarian, uh, or uh, just be a part of uh, this, uh, even if you don't speak Bulgarian, uh, if you want to have like. Uh, one-to-one -one conversation with me, not one-to-one, -one, but, uh, you know, uh, web webinar uh, in Bulgarian, I will just say it again, it will be in Bulgarian. Um, you can uh, sign up uh, using this uh, link over here, and you can sign up the form. Uh, and also, I want to just uh, uh, thanks everyone who are a paid member uh, of my YouTube channel. Uh, and uh, of course, uh, if you haven't joined my Discord already, please do. Uh, there's a lot of great discussions uh, over there. Uh, so yeah, but today we are going to talk about uh, Flutter uh, 3.19. And Arsten actually, uh, he is a member of uh, my Discord channel. He's actually a Swedish uh, speaker. Uh, so he actually uh, shared a very cool article. Thank you for that uh, about what is uh, going to be changed in uh, Flutter 3.19. Uh, and it's a great article. Uh, if you haven't uh, read it, it's 11 minutes. 11 uh, minutes read uh, and um, also I will link that article in the description so in case you want to uh, check it out uh, so I'm not going to actually get into details what is uh, going to change uh, I'm just uh, going to uh, show you uh, of the perspective of flow to flow uh, what uh, you need to do and how you have to actually prepare yourself uh, for the new update. So, uh, so actually, first of all, thank you very much for the flow for now letting us know uh, when there will be a new uh, upgrade uh, and what uh, what the version will be used uh, and which date it will be upgraded. So it says March 7th. So by the recording of this video, you have around seven days uh, to review your code. Not a lot of time, to be honest, probably. If you have more time, it will be better, uh, to be honest. Uh, at least a month, I think. Uh, it's a good uh, amount of time. I don't know. What, what do you think, guys? Uh, and... Uh, so it says to avoid any uh, unexpected uh, issues, uh, please be prepared for it. And now Flutterflow actually has this icon over here on every single project, not on every single project actually, on all the projects that they think that they it might uh, cause any issue or um, uh, they have some criteria in order to put that. So I think I think if you haven't, if you don't, if you are not using any custom code, you're probably not going to see this icon, to be honest. But let me actually jump into Flow the Flow uh, and let me click on the icon so you can actually see. So it says Flow the Flow 9 uh, 319 is coming. Flow the Flow will be upgraded to the latest version of Flow the Flow in two weeks. Uh, so yeah, we have two weeks. Uh, I uh, to be honest, I uh, will ask for more in the future, like one month in the minimum, uh, which uh, involves pub spec packages and other minor changes. Over 99% of common pub step dependencies are capable. However, you may need to update other packages to the latest capable version. The vast majority of projects will be unaffected, but in order to avoid any unexpected uh, issues, please be prepared for any uh, necessary updates for Flutter 3. 
1991 by March 7. You can download a preview of the 391 code below or run test mode using the new version in order to check for any issues. So that's great actually, like I said, that's great. I, I, I'm super happy about that, that we can now the whole idea is that we can now, by clicking this button code preview, now you are actually going to download the code as using the version 3.9.3.19.1. And then you can run it uh, locally in your uh, machine, or you can actually run a test mode uh, and see uh, if the test mode will have any issues uh, regarding this uh, new version. So as you know, Flutterflow is running on top of Flutter, of course, uh, and upgrading Flutter may cause issues, like they said, from the packages. But I will now show you and I will now tell you that I made a video about uh, fixing field running Flutter get errors, resolve the package dependency in Flutterflow. So the whole reason I did this video uh, is because I'm, I'm explaining in this video why it's not a good idea to uh, use packages with their versions. Why it's always better uh, to, uh, to uh, have a package uh, and then um, use it with the keyword any, for example. Of course, there are other techniques uh, but the one I like uh, is using it with any. So what I mean by that is I will give you an example with this package that I use in uh, many of my uh, Flutterflow projects. So if you want to actually, if you go to actually installing, uh, you can actually see over here that it says that uh, you need to add it with this version number. Uh, but uh, in this video that I show you, uh, I am actually uh, doing it without this version number. I'm actually doing it with any. So if I go to my custom code, uh, and of course in custom functions, you don't have any uh, problems. So if you have only custom functions, don't worry about it. Uh, if you have custom widgets or custom actions uh, that you're using packages like me over here, just audio, for example, um, then uh, please make sure, I would just advise uh, everyone watching this video to make sure to change uh, all the packages uh, and the later versions uh, and then just put any instead. Uh, and then click on the green button. It's very important to click on the green button so you can actually uh, refresh uh, the pub, uh, the, the file. So. When you click on the green button, make sure to, after that, click on view code uh, and then go to your uh, above the file, uh, which you can uh, find it in the, at the bottom, uh, spec YAML. Uh, and I can, you can actually see that uh, all the packages that I'm using, any, you can actually see it over here. So for audio players, I use any for download, path provider, I'm using any. Uh, for Flutter HTML to PDF, I'm using any, and so on and so forth. Uh, so the other versions that you see, uh, they're actually natively uh, uh, used by Flutterflow. Uh, those are not packages that uh, you uh, you have to mess with, let's say. Uh, you can just use them out of the box. You don't even have to include them over here. You just need to import them like this. But that's another po topic. What I'm trying to say is that and I, my advice is my advice for you guys to be prepared for the new version. And just change the keyword to any. And when you're done, make sure to look at the code that all the packages that you change are uh, uh, are now any, uh, and then run a test mode. So even if you don't run the test mode from this uh, uh, from this button over here, which will run the latest version. The current, if you run a test mode with the current version and everything is working, then I will guarantee you like 99% it will work with the new version as well. And then when when you see that it's working with the current version, then run it with 
uh, the new version that is coming. Uh, and you'll be good to go. Uh, and that's everything uh, that uh, I wanted to say. I hope this video was uh, helpful to you guys. Uh, and uh, yeah, before you go, actually. Thanks for watching this video, but please help me to reach 4,000 subscribers. Uh, and when I reach 4,000 subscribers, I actually have a surprise for every single subscriber that I have. I will shuffle them and I'll do a live session and I'll announce the winner. And what, what will be the winner? The winner should be a subscribe to the channel. And the, uh, the price is this one. It's a full flow swag, actually. I want to give to one of my subscribers. Like I said, it will be a live session when I reach 4,000 subscribers and this Slack it's actually have a t-shirt, the same that you see over here. It has stickers and it has a mug. So it's pretty good mug that you can drink your coffee or tea or whatever you like to drink from it. And like I said, I will give this to one of my subscribers. So please subscribe to the channel. And also I'll do a live session. So it should be in the live session when I reach 4,000 subscribers and I'll just pick from wherever who is subscribed and it is in the live session and I put, pick a winner so he or she can immediately give me, DM me at the address and I can send this slide box. So please subscribe to the channel to have a chance to win this amazing slide box. I just want to say that the paid membership for YouTube is now open so you can be a paid member to my YouTube channel which means a lot and thank you very much for all the people who are right now paid members to the channel.